Hello everybody. Now after understanding the fun fundamental concept behind the globe semantic relationship, time comes when we should try to implement this thing in Python. So what exactly uh, this globe can be used for so for example see here we have list of words and we want to do the clustering means we want to cluster the similar meaning word together okay similar uh, words which are making similar sense we want to cluster the, we want to find them and cluster them together right but the machine will not understand the model will not understand understand the text so that's why we require to find uh, we require to convert them into form in in form of numbers or vectors so that the machine learning model can understand it and for that purpose how would you convert that for that purpose here we are going to use globe previously we use word to vec then uh, Prior to that, we had used TFIDF, bag of words, etc. Right now, here we are going to use Glow. Why Glow? Because here Glow will find the semantic relationship between word word co occurrence matrix, basis on the word word co occurrence matrix. Okay. I hope that it is clear to you. So now here what I have done already is so if you see here I imported this particular model and then this is something which you can ignore for now but this is something which we will be using TSNE is the modeling technique which we use for dimension uh, dimensionality reduction okay. So now the next thing from GenSim you have to use downloader and using that you can download this pre-trained model or you can say the data which is quite exhaustive some a bunch uh, you can say that it's it's bunch of words uh, from Wikipedia and the same thing we're gonna be using in our mo uh, globe modeling okay so let's say we trained uh, we created this model this is pre-trained model okay so let's see globe model dot most similar there is function which is called most similar so to reach this part first you would require to do all these things right you can try this exact same thing and it will be loaded you don't need to load any separate file from anywhere also okay so most similar word let's say here i gave the most uh, here i am putting let's say love so what is equivalent to love what what all are the words which are most equivalent to love so love passion loved romantic lovers etc these all are very much similar now if you want to fetch how many similar words you want to fetch so for that you have another parameter which is called top n and i want to find one the most top if you want to find top five you can do this okay so similar fashion you can do this now if you remember in word to wake i explained one thing husband minus man plus woman equals to wife how can we do this over here can can it be done over here using this model let's try this okay so here what i'm going to do is let's say globe this has uh, the, this doesn't have much to do with uh, this problem statement but i'm just trying to give you understanding what all are the things that can be solved using this right so let's say most similar and into this there are two parameters one is positive then the other one is negative okay the other one is negative so in the positive and in the negative what are the things that you want to put so if you see over here the positive values are you women and husband let's put that here i'm just going to say woman and here the husband and in the negative term i'm just going to say man and then let's call it top n equals to one let's see oh you got it wife you see right so this is how you can use the globe models to solve this kind of problem so this doesn't make much use so what i'll do is i'll just comment it and then all right now let's get back to our main problem statement which is clustering all of these things okay so for that what is it that we need to do first of all we need to find the vector value for each of these words right uh, which means converting each of this word in form of number right and then we can 
use the further technique so for that i'm just going to create two lists which is one is for words then other one is for vectors all right and let's just then i'm just going to say for word in here uh, my list name is my vocab okay in my vocab and over here i will say words dot append word simple i'm just trying to uh, go through each of the words and creating it's nothing but just like creating another list of the things uh, another list of my vocab thing but if you want you can ignore that but let's just do it here i'm just going to do that here yeah. vectors dot append and then i want to find the vector values for my for each of my word into my vocab so what i'm going to do is let's say i would say globe model and inside that i would use my word okay before i do this let me show you what does that mean okay so let's say globe model and over here let's pick a word from this let's pick banana okay let's come down and over here let's see the vector value for banana so these are the vector values you got the same thing we are trying to do over here for each of the word we want to find these vector values okay hope that makes sense now after running this let's try to run this after writing this let's try to run this so words how many words that we have let's see the length of the words 18 and then length of the vectors that is also 18 now if you want to see each vector value against each of the word what you can do is you can simply you know you can say let's call it dicts i'm just converting to dicts dictionary which means then uh, here you say zip and over here you can say words comma vectors All right so this is done then you can say import pandas as pd and then you can make a data frame right pd dot data frame from you can say from date which is nothing but dictionary and into that you supply the data now you see over here for each of the word the vector value has been assigned all right this makes sense okay now because that is not of much use for us so i'm just going to uh, hide that or i i'm not going to be using that thing in my further purpose right so now we are done with converting this the next thing comes is plotting this thing right so let's just try to plot that and then we see how it clusters but before that first we need to use this model T tsne model right so tsne model we will use for dimension reduction so for that purpose to make it quick what i have done is i have already written this thing okay so n components equals two then perplexity so this is the model which we are going to use and these are the parameters which we are using into it okay so if you want to understand tsne in detail let me know into the comment section i'll try to make a video for tsne okay now moving forward let's let me just execute this first okay so this model is created now the next thing which comes is training our model so here we have our vector value and now we need to so how can we do that so let's say dim model dot fit transform and inside that i'm going to use my vectors okay and this i will be storing in fit model okay let's just run this all right let's let's just have a look on this okay let me call it model fit model let's just have a look bravo so now you see here two dimensional array has been created the model is fit over here now what so one is x value the other one is y value let's just try to plot this okay so to plot this we need to say import matplotlib.py plot as plt done next thing we need to make a scatter plot let's just try but to create this scatter plot before that what we need is we need the value for x and 
y x axis and y axis so let's just uh, i just showed you the value of this fit model now we need to create x y using this this part will go in x this one will go in y right so let's just say here we have one blank list x here i have another blank list which is y and then sorry in the same one it's called for i in in fit model right x dot append x dot append we can say i comma zero and then here we can say i dot append and here let's call it i one all right so looks like this is created now comes the next part which is creating the plot so before that let's see if x is created well yes and then y is created well yes this is created now let's call it so what i will do is i'll do it through a loop okay so what i ins do over here let's call it for i in range and let's take length of x for and then after that i'll say plt did i import the matplotlib yes i did okay so here let's call plt dot scatter and inside that i'm going to say x i comma y i so are you getting point so i'm trying to put each of the point from x and y together and then plot it on this scatter plot okay let's just see you see this is how it looks so these clusters are so you see how many cluster have been created one two three four five cluster so for the words which we had over here for that it has created five clusters but after having this created we are not able to understand which point indicates to which value and for that purpose we are going to use plt dot annotate and inside that we require to use words the words which we had created right over here you see words this one so same thing i'm going to use over here words and here let's put i now let's just see how does it looks like okay so in annotation it also require the x y value okay so let's just put that x y value as well so this is the thing which we can provide in the x y x y equals to inside that let's just put this now let's just run this oh this is looking too messy right so what we can do is let's just fit the size plt dot please ignore this noise figure and to this we can say fix size and inside that we can say 10 8 10 by 8 ha huh, well it looks better can we make it look prettier and for that purpose there are few more parameters which i'm going to use and those parameters are these things okay so you don't need to worry much about this all you can just have you can just use the same way the way it is used over here all right L here one comma is needed and then let's just try this okay still better isn't it so what we see over here is uh, now let me make it little bigger okay let me just say if i can also make it nine how does it looks still better okay so if you see all the relations let me make it little bigger so all the relations over here are colors clustered together over here you see india china mumbai shimla all these locations are clustered together maruti is something which is just one word and that looks very near to the location but this is a separate cluster here you see these all are fruits now one thing which you should notice over here is orange right orange is clustered along with color 
because orange is color as well as a fruit and in the trained model which we have used that in that it is more likely to be a color right it is it has occurred more often with these words compared to these words so that's why it is grouped with this right same happens with apple apple is a device as well as the fruit but in the trained model the apple has occurred in context of mobile and computer more often compared to the uh, in the context of fruit all right so this is how you saw how we did uh, how we did the clustering of this um, of, of these words using the glove technique okay so i just hope that it was clear to you just in case of any doubt feel free to put that into the comment section i will definitely try to solve that wish you